Hello everyone. Well today we're going to the park, but how are we going to get there? Hmm. I'm going to go on my bicycle. My bicycle has a bell. Ding ding. My bicycle has a bell. Ding ding. My bicycle has a bell. Ding ding. Two wheels going round. Two pedals up and down, and a saddle as well. And when I ride my bicycle, I sing my bicycle song. Tra la 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 la, ding ding. Tra la 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 la, ding ding. Tra la 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 la, ding ding. Two wheels going round, two pedals up and down. And a saddle as well. Now, sometimes when I'm going to the park, it's very steep hill I have to go up, depending which way I go. So I ha means that my bicycle has to go very, very slowly. My bicycle has a bell. Ding, ding. My bicycle has a bell ding ding my bicycle has a bell ding ding two wheels going round oh they're going so slowly because it's such hard work going up the hill two pedals up and down and they're going slowly as well and a saddle as well I get to a part that is going very fast downhill. My bicycle has a bell ding ding, my bicycle has a bell ding ding, my bicycle has a bell ding ding. Two wheels going around really, really, really fast. Two pedals up and down really, really fast. And a saddle as well. Oh, gosh, my hair's all got all over the place with all that riding of my bicycle. Now, but you know, if you live in the countryside and you were going to the park, maybe you would go on a horse because we don't really see people riding horses in London, do we? Not really. But in the countryside, lots and lots of people ride horses. Horsey, horsey, don't you stop. Just let your feet go clippity-clop. Your tail goes swish and the wheels go round. Giddy up, we're homeward bound. Giddy up, we're homeward bound. Now I'm making that that sound like this by tapping my hands on my desk. But you could do it by clapping or banging on the table if mummy and daddy said that was all right that would be a good idea so you can make the sound of the horse's feet or else if you just want to make it with your mouth you go and i know there's lots of you who are very clever at making that noise so shall we do it again that song so we're going to start off with our clip clop sound Horsey, horsey, don't you stop. Just let your feet go clippity-clop. Your tail goes swish and the wheels go round. Giddy up, we're homeward bound. Giddy up, we're homeward bound. Now then, this is also, we're going to be in the countryside for this song as well because we're going to say how different people ride horses now i might need to get my teddy for this so one moment here is my teddy and my teddy's going to help me this is the way the ladies ride nimini nim nimini nim nimini nim nimini nim this is the way the gentlemen ride. Clip, clop, clip, clop, clip, clop, clip, clop, clip, clop, clip, clop. 
This is the way the parson rides. Gallopy, 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 gallopy over a fence. Whee! Gallopy, 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 gallopy. And this is the way old Farmer Jones rides. Hobble dee hoy, hobble dee hoy, hobble dee hoy. And down in the ditch. Oh dear, poor Farmer Jones. Are you all right down there, Farmer Jones? Oh, he's all right. So you could do that maybe if mum or dad or granny or an uncle or auntie would, you could bounce on their knee and do that. That's a very fun song. So you start off very gently for the lady riding very, because it's all about when in the old fashioned days, when ladies used to ride side saddle. And so they didn't used to ride very fast or they weren't supposed to because it was really dangerous riding a side saddle. And then the gentleman goes a little bit faster. And then the parson goes really quickly. And then the farmer's on a big cart horse and he falls down in the ditch. Right, poor old Teddy, he didn't really, I didn't drop him on the floor. It's all right. I'm going to just put him to one side now. And we're going to go back to the town and we're going with our grand part of the park. Aren't we lucky? Oh, I had such lovely grandpas. And when I used to go out with them, oh, it was lovely, lovely times we used to have. Grandpa strolling down the avenue. Grandpa strolling down the avenue. Grandpa strolling down the avenue, strolling down with me today. Grandpas and grannies always have loads of time to help you, don't they? And so they'll, when you want to stop and jump in a puddle, they'll say, oh, that's all right. And when you want to stop and look at a spider web, they'll say, oh, isn't it fascinating? So that's where they're strolling. They're just going at a gentle speed, not fast. And not super slow, but not fast at all. But then we're going with Mummy and Daddy. Mummy and Daddy walk down the avenue. Mummy and Daddy walk down the avenue. Mummy and Daddy walk down the avenue. Walking down with me today. And then we're going to go with our friend down the avenue and we're going to play and run. My friend's running down the avenue, my friend's running down the avenue, my friend's running down the avenue, running down with me today. So did you see we started quite gently and slowly and then we got a bit faster with mummy and daddy and then we went really quickly with our friend, didn't we? So it's so fun being able to do different things with different people. Now, when we get to the park, what's the thing that you like doing best? Now, last week we did we did the seesaw with Marjorie Daw, do you remember? And some people like going on the roundabout. And some people like going down the slide. But Christopher Robin likes going on the swing. And this story reminds me very much of when I was a little girl and I used to go to the park and uh, because the park was at the top of, of a hill. So when you were swinging on the swing, you could see all across the houses. It was wonderful. So when I read this poem, I thought... I would tell you that story about when I was a little girl and then read you the poem and you could see how it's very similar. So this is from a book called The Christopher Robin Verse Book. Now, Christopher Robin was the little boy whose teddy bear was Winnie the Pooh. And he also had all the other animals like Piglet and Tigger and Eeyore the donkey. But his favourite, I think, was really Winnie the Pooh. And look, there's Winnie the Pooh climbing up the stairs and there's Christopher Robin. And it was written by a man called A.A. A. Milne. Now, he was actually Christopher Robin's daddy. So they're actually all stories that he used to draw. He used to do all the drawings as well um, about his little boy. So we're going to look at a story 
Oris poem called Swing Song. And there's Christopher Robin. And look, Christopher Robin's got a little dog. But we don't know what this little dog is called. But we can see that Christopher Robin has got lovely flowers in his garden. And the sky is very blue. And he's wearing a t-shirt and shorts. So I think that this is summertime. Here I go up in my swing ever so high. I am the king of the fields and the king of the town. I am the king of the earth and the king of the sky. Here I go up in my swing. Now I go down. So when you're swinging up, you can see over everything in front of you, can't you? And then you swing back and you can see more. And oh, I just used to love going on the swings when I was a little girl. So that, and I remember feeling like I could was the queen of the town. And I could see all of the cars and the houses. And far in the distance, I could see the church steeple. So there we are. Now, I'm going to say goodbye for today. So I hope you've enjoyed singing about going to the park and how we're going to get there. And then seeing the story of Christopher Robin on the swing. Lots of love. Look after yourself and see you very soon. Bye from me.